so if you guys saw that last clip I finally made my first sale on eBay I'm gonna leave a screenshot around here or somewhere but man I actually mentioned it on my last video that I was actually gonna get a sale either at work uh, or at my computer or somewhere or whatever somewhere something important my phone was gonna vibrate and I got my first sale and that's what actually happened I was at work my phone rang and said hey eBay send me an email saying like hey get ready for this uh, get ready to ship this item out because it's been sold so I was like super sick or super pumped so what I'm gonna talk about is how I got that one watcher to become you know how I got that one watcher to buy the part and two I'm gonna talk to you guys about patience when you're doing this because this requires a lot of patience so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my computer and I am gonna do a better recording of my computer I know in the last video it looked kind of weird so I'm go I actually fixed it so we're gonna hop into the computer and I'm gonna explain everything so we're at my computer and we're back on my eBay store and of course if you can see if you guys looked at my last video I do not have any wiper motor whatsoever that's the item that sold so uh, I do have my other items up and right now that a potential sell is actually my Mazda RX-7 uh, OEM radio um, I do have one watcher uh, watching it right now and the thing that I just realized how to make that one watcher actually buy your item is by is by cutting the price down a little bit it can be like you know you sold it for $39.99 for example like my OEM radio like it was $39.99 I put like four dollars down so now it's $35.99 so what's cool about this is that once you mark down the price eBay sends a email to that person that's watching the item saying like hey you know what uh, the thing that you just saw previously it was at $39.99 now it's at $35.99 so when you do that it actually makes the buyer want to uh, buy it now like they really like it's eBay saying like dude you guys, you should buy this part now before someone else buys it or whatever so it's giving them the urgency to buy the item now when we're going down uh, through the list we are having other sales you know we're getting a couple views on other parts uh, another part that's getting a lot of hits right now is actually the cup holder insert right now so that's doing pretty well um so since i sold that wiper motor for 39.77 somewhere around there that's where i made my first sell i actually went to the junkyard again and i bought two more items and the two items were climate control one was for a chevy suburban and the other one was for a ford f-150 now you guys have to do your research and i've been you know saying this a lot but if you guys have patience doing this you guys are, can have a potential of that one person needing that part. So what I was looking at was um, I was doing my research, seeing here and there, and I found this climate control at the junkyard for $18. I took it out, went up front, paid $18 for each one, and I went up I went up on eBay, and I've been seeing people were selling it for at least 60 I want to say, 70 to like $75. So... For myself, I wanted it to be a little bit more competitive. I actually lowered down my price to $65.99, and we have we can probably get a potential sell with this. So, what I'm saying is, you guys gotta do your research on what items are really really selling. So, the way I did this was that I actually um, was looking around and I noticed that my first sell was in North Carolina. Now, people at the East Coast right now, it's snowing, it's raining, it's super cold over there. So a lot of people from that area don't want to go to the junkyard to buy something over there. And since I I realized that my part went to North Carolina, uh, I checked the weather over there. I was checking how it was, like, what days it was going to be snowing and stuff like that. So I was doing a, a lot of research, seeing what was happening over there, and I realized that they have a lot of snow going there. There's a lot of rain. So I went uh, I went to the junkyard and I'm like, well, what if I need a climate control? Because usually um, sometimes in the East Coast, uh, it gets super cold and stuff like that. And some people don't have climate control. So they're pretty much freezing inside their car. So I was like, what if I get a climate control 
for uh you know for a chevy or a ford and look them up on ebay and i was looking up on ebay and i just saw that there's one person that was actually selling to climate controls and he sold 120 items worth of that part like that same part he sold 120 uh climate controls so i was like man this item selling really really good so let me go check out why you know let me go check out uh his history on ebay so what you guys can do uh i can show you on the computer is uh we can put um 2000 i don't know 2001 ford explorer climate control so we can search that up um and if you can come all the way down um you gotta find the ones that say like top rated plus like this you have to you really have to pay attention to this is because these are actual people that are you know either going to the junkyard or they have their own wrecking yard taking parts off of these cars and pulling them up on ebay so you really have to find uh people who are doing top rated so we're gonna go ahead and click this um right now he hasn't sold anything um so we're gonna go back and let's see let's see this person here same thing um he hasn't sold anything um, yet. Um, let's keep going. Uh, here we go. Here's a perfect example. Uh, Ford Explorer 1995-2002. Uh, we can go ahead and click this. And if you can see, um, this is like a repair repair service. So like if you get a climate control and you need to repair it, you can send it to them. But if you look at this, this item, you know, the same item has sold, uh, what? 16 times or 16 sold so what's cool about ebay is you can check their history on when the item was sold so this was at november 8th of this year um and it goes down to november 5 of this year and it keeps going so it keeps giving you that that history of uh of the of when people were purchasing that item so let me find a good one so i can show you guys a good one um um Let's go back up and search, um, I don't know, 2002, um, I don't know, let's, let's put my Suburban, oh, I spelled it wrong, Suburban Climate Control, okay, so, like, an example right here, this guy has seven watchers right here. Seven watchers. Seven people are watching this item. So you go ahead and click this. And there's seven people. Seven people watching it. And he's already sold two. But if you check his um, history, he sold one on the 24th of November and 27. So that was like, what, three days apart on where he sold it. So he had two. He just made two sales for $74. If we bring up the calculator, because I'm not really good at math, guys. Uh, 74 plus uh, 74, 148 dollars. He just made, you know, chilling at his, you know, office, house, whatever. Posted up on eBay, and he just made 148 dollars in three days. Guys, it takes it if you have a minimum wage job or whatever. Like those two days paid off. Like I don't know how much you guys make, uh, but 148 dollars is like one day when you're at a minimum wage dodge you can't make that in one day you see what i'm saying so th this guy made 148 dollars within three days which is an absolute beast i mean this is the thing that like you guys have to do your research you know search parts and the one thing i want to show you guys the one thing that you guys have to do and i'm glad if you guys are making it like towards the end of the video this is what you guys have to do so you go to uh, an example, like I'm going to my eBay store, right? I'm going to my eBay store. This is all the stuff I have. But you see this? You see this following? If you guys see a certain store that's following a lot of stuff, you guys have to follow their store because they're the ones that are killing it, like buying parts, selling them. And this is the, this is like how I got the idea was because uh, this person right here, uh, my whatever had a 240 switch control and I bought it. I was like, dude, I need it. I need it for my car because my pop-up headlights don't work. So this is what I'm talking about. This is like a following. So what you do is you go check out what he's selling on his store and look at this guy. He's he's legit killing it. Like this guy is really really killing it. So if you guys look right here, bam, uh, 99 
2002 climate control he sold 121 so if we do the math calculator um 121 times 64 whoops let me go this way times 64 guys look at that seven thousand seven hundred and forty four dollars he's just made by just selling that same part so if you guys check his you guys can you know again what's cool about ebay is that you can see when he sold the item so if you guys look at it this is recent guys check this out december 11th 2018 he sold one december 11th again 2018 he sold two and then the next day december 12th he sold another climate control so this is what i'm talking about like is that you guys need patience and i know a lot of people out there uh lack patience and patience is the key when you do this certain thing and that's why i'm showing you guys that i'm doing a 30 day challenge you know just doing this because it requires patience and if you guys i'm telling you if you guys don't do your research or if you guys you know are lazy or doing anything you guys are not going to get anywhere is action actions speak louder than words so just do your research find other stuff um you know it doesn't necessarily you don't have to necessarily sell the same part you can have other parts that can sell and that's what i like about you know doing this is because i'm testing each item out and see which one does well so once i figure out like oh you know what this item does well this item doesn't doesn't do well then you can get that same part like that person that person sold 121 units he knows that that part selling so he's gonna buy he's gonna go to the junkyard he's gonna go to a wrecking yard or whatever and he's gonna keep buying more of that same item because it's a hot sell so just do a bunch of research guys that's all i'm telling you guys just do a bunch of research and stay patient with it so when doing this you guys have to be really really patient doing this um there you can be that type of person where you buy an item and it sells the next day. It can happen, like it can happen, but you have to put in the work, research, do this, do that, figure out how you're gonna sell that one item to that one watcher, and you can kill it, guys. Like it's it's pretty easy to do it, but you have to be patient. You have to do your research, and I gave you guys a little, you know, tips here and there on how to do it. And eBay is so cool that you can see their uh, previous purchase of when that item was sold, which is freaking awesome. So that's going to help you guys too on what part you're going to need. And you're not going to spend a lot of time at the junkyard because you're just going to go over there. You're going to figure out, hey, you know what? I'm looking for this cart and I need this part because this part sells. And you're going to make your trip to the junkyard a lot faster. And it's just something where if you guys want to make, you know money you can make money you just gotta you just gotta get off of your bed off of your chair whatever go to the junkyard take out a part bring it back clean it up take pictures and that's it that's easy money right there that's easy money that you guys can do so a lot of people that like watch automotive channels don't realize that keeping an automotive channel is pretty hard because you actually need money to put inside your car and that's why you get a lot of people that you follow on uh youtube or whatever uh they only upload like one video a week is because they probably don't have money to you know get a new part and put it inside the car so this was the reason why i wanted to do this because i needed to figure out a way how i can make side money and put that side money inside my car of course i have initiate which i'm working on and then i have my ebay store as well so Having a car channel requires you to have, you know, a little bit more money so you can put in your project car, your project build or something like that. So I, I did this because I want to build my car a certain way. And this was like, this seemed easy to me. I'm like, well, I do know cars pretty well. I can go to the junkyard, take out the parts, do my research on eBay, see what parts are selling and just open up my own eBay store and sell them sell those junkyard parts there so if you look at my point of view and everyone else has a different point of view but my point of view is that from nine to six that money that i make from monday through friday is for my priorities meaning my rent my bills water all that stuff like all the stuff that is in the household nine to six that money is for that but from like i get home like around 6 45 because of traffic and stuff like that so from 6.45 to 12, 
I'm in the computer figuring out what products sell on eBay, figuring out how I can make Initiate better. So I'm hustling, grinding, because having the automotive channel, you do have to have a little bit more money to make content. So this is the reason why I'm doing this is because I need a little bit of that money so I can buy you know, cool parts for the 240 or certain parts that I want and rock on the 240. So this is why I'm doing this 30 day challenge series and I want to motivate you guys that you know are struggling out there or whatever that you can make money like you can do it it's just that you guys have to put in the work you guys have to do your research and the most importantly is you guys need patience because it's not gonna happen overnight guys this is something that requires a lot of patience and I know that if I can do it you guys can do it as well so if you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe and comment down below but for reals guys if you guys enjoy you know enjoy seeing these videos Subscribe to the channel. That really means a lot to me because we're almost at 1,500 subscribers. So if you guys, you know, you guys are willing to help me, your boy out, uh, that would be, you know, super, super sick. So this is the end of day two. So stay tuned for day three. And of course, I am going to show you guys the full scoop of the Acura Integra. I am working on it. So stay tuned for that because it's something important. And that's one of the reasons why I got to the automotive you know community was because of that car so if you guys enjoyed it like share subscribe see you guys at day three later dudes